Imagine over 40,000 mosques dotting the vast landscape of China. Among them, the Huaixing Mosque in Guangzhou stands tall, claiming the title of China's oldest mosque. But is it truly the champion of time? Travel back over 1,300 years, if the stories hold true. Legend whispers of Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas, a companion of Prophet Muhammad, building the mosque in 672 AD. This would make it one of the oldest mosques in the world. However, history sometimes whispers differently. Scholars believe it more likely existed during the Song Dynasty, around 960 AD. Regardless of its exact age, the mosque story is rich. Imagine bustling trade routes, ships laden with silk and spices, all flowing through the naturally deep harbor of Guangzhou, a key player in the maritime Silk Road, and the mosque, a crucial stop for Muslim merchants. Step inside the mosque, greeted by the Moon Observation Tower, a square gate built during the Ming Dynasty. Its purpose? To track the moon and mark the beginning and end of Ramadan. The prayer hall is a beautiful blend of Arabic and Chinese styles. Picture a traditional Chinese roof with curled eaves, adorned with intricate tiles. Inside, Arabic calligraphy decorates the walls, while the mirab, indicating the direction of Mecca, showcases both Islamic and Chinese designs. But the true star of the show is the Guanta, a 36-meter minaret nicknamed the Lighthouse. Its exact age remains a mystery, but it's considered the oldest surviving Islamic structure in China. Imagine ships navigating the Pearl River, guided by this beacon, knowing they had reached Guangzhou. Though no longer the tallest structure, the Guangta stands tall as a symbol of history, trade, and cultural exchange. So, is it the oldest? Perhaps not definitively. But its story, woven with threads of faith, trade, and architecture, makes it a must-visit for any history buff or explorer 